Chile is a pretty oddly shaped country. It's 2,500 miles long at its tallest, but only just over 200 miles wide at its thickest. Surely there were opportunities for conquest or even being conquered themselves, so why did Chile end up looking like this? So to begin, the lands that are now Chile were conquered by the Spanish in the 16th century. The hope was that it would be a land filled with gold and silver, but instead it was filled with people who didn't want the Spanish there. After some warring, Spain was firmly established in the region, and Chile was spun off from Peru to become its own administrative division. The borders of this weren't ever really settled, and two centuries later, when the Spanish Empire fell apart, Chile became independent and had these borders, but claimed these. Unsurprisingly, these claims led to conflict between Chile and its neighbours. When Peru and Bolivia united, the Chileans feared that the Union would become a major threat over time, and so demanded that it be dissolved. The response was no, and so… war. The Chileans, with some help from the Argentinians, won the war and dissolved the Peru-Bolivian Union. After this, the Chileans turned their eyes to the south. The government wanted to seize the Strait of Magellan and secure any route between the Pacific and the Atlantic. They did this by building a fort here and later a town here, which also acted as a base from which the country could expand. Closer to home, this area was inhabited by the Mapuche people, who fiercely resisted any incursions into their lands. And by the 1860s, things got a little bit weird here, because it was at this point that the Mapuche declared the Frenchman Antoine de Tounon as the high king and ruler of the independent state of Araucania. This might seem like a strange thing to do, but Antoine managed to become their ruler with one simple tactic. He lied. Antoine had approached the Mapuche by offering French military support if Chile or Argentina ever invaded. Of course, when Chile heard of this, they immediately invaded, captured the capital and deported Antoine back to France before taking this land. Back in the north, Peru and Bolivia were concerned with Chile's growing power, and so they made a secret alliance which they invited Argentina to. But Argentina said no because it had claims on Bolivian land. And soon, conflict over mineral rights in this region led to Chilean troops invading Bolivia. Long story short, Chile won and took this territory from Bolivia and these lands from Peru. Whilst this war was going on, Argentina saw an opportunity. The government there quickly began to press Chile to settle its border disputes too. The Chileans were obviously concerned about the Argentinians joining the war and so President Anibal Pinto conceded all of this land to Argentina. The main reason he conceded so much was obviously to keep Argentina neutral. But it was also because the Andes mountain range. This effectively made taking and holding that land much more difficult. And in return for all of this, Argentina recognised Chile's claim to all of these lands in the south as well as the lands they took during the war. So with that, Chile looks similar to what it does today with the exception of this large chunk of land here and this bit to the north. Now, this was originally owned by Bolivia, but they secretly traded it to both Argentina and Chile because who was ever going to find out? Both countries wanted to avoid war and so the governments met to diplomatically resolve the issue. The problem was that they both hated each other and wanted to cede nothing and so it was left to the United States to arbitrate. In the end, it was decided that Argentina would gain most of the land and Chile would get this. Whereas this chunk was a source of contention for Peru and in order to prevent a war, the United States pressured Chile to give it back. And so after this, Chile had taken on the shape that it had to this day. I hope you enjoyed this episode with a special thanks to my patrons, James Bizanet, Kelly Moneymaker, Sky Chappelle, Katoitska, Anthony Beckett, Rod D. Martin, Yudwan Wang, Marcus Arsner, Wyan Hockey, Alex Schwinn, AF Firefly, Captain Sidog, Spencer Lightfoot, Gustav Swan, The McWhopper, Shuenin, Marvin Cassow, Winston Kaywood, Spinning Three Plates, Andy McGeehy, Kamoon Yoon, Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard, Todd Short, Copper Tone, Maggie Patskowski, Words About Books Podcast, Jim Strunberg, Miss Izet, and Charles the First.